I'm Tom Merritt from the Daily Tech News Show. Want to save some money? Here are the top five ways to save money on your next tech purchase. So you're still spending some money. Upgrading your old tech should be fun. You get new stuff. But if you pay full price, <laughs> that's a lot less fun. Worry not, though, because here I have for you the top five ways to save money on your next tech purchase. At number five, just get last year's model. When a new model of something like a phone comes out, companies know you're going to get FOMO. They play it up. They want you to want that new expensive item. But it does mean they're going to have a harder time selling the previous model. So they drop the price on that one. Now, if you do that, you forego the new features, the hot new features, of course, but you add the feature of a smug feeling of satisfaction from saving all that money. Up to number four, look for sales and discounts. I mean, I know this one seems obvious, but the trick is timing it. How do you get a sale on the thing you need when you need it? Of course, there are the big ones. If you can hold off till Black Friday or Prime Day or Singles Day, then you can get a discount on those days. But I don't know, maybe you need it now. Another option is to take advantage of discounts. So if you're a student or a senior or a veteran or a member of certain professions, you might get a discount. If you have a membership card in something, use it. Coming in at number three, buy refurbished. Don't let that word scare you. If you really want a specific model, look for the refurbished category. You can sometimes even get the current model for cheap. And don't confuse refurbished with used. A refurbished product is reconditioned or inspected to ensure it works like new by the manufacturer. And sometimes they're not even refurbished. They're new items that were never even opened, but they're not allowed to sell them as new but they're basically new. And whether it's refurbished or not, if it's called refurbished, unlike buying used, you get a limited warranty and support. Sliding into number two, trade in your old stuff. A lot of companies are now trying to burnish their green credentials by talking up the facts that they take trade-ins and you get the cash. Apple, Samsung, a lot of retailers like Best Buy, they all offer the ability to get a discount off buying a new model by trading in the old one. Now, you won't get as much as if you sold it yourself on eBay or something, but you'll often get a decent discount and you don't have to go to the trouble. At number one, something called the gray market. Gray market items are just products that are sold outside of the manufacturer's approved distribution channels. Now, don't worry, it's not illegal. It's just not authorized by the manufacturer. Because of that, some manufacturers won't honor the warranty on products sold this way, so be aware of that. Or the item might have been meant for another country, so you might have to make some software or even some hardware tweaks to make sure it works in yours. Yes, I know, Grandpa, you can save the most money by just not buying something new in the first place. But if you have to, or you just really want to, hopefully these tips can ease the strain on your wallet a bit. And if you want more great tech news and info, it's free. Subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash daily tech news show. Get the podcast at daily tech news show.com. And if you're flush with all that money you saved, you can give us a little cut of it at patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there. Thank you.